Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to make this cute little angel. The height of the angel is uh, five and a half inches and I am going to crochet it using uh, this cotton thread size 10 um, uh, and my hook is almost two millimeters. I'll start with the loop hanger, but if you do not want uh, a loop hanger on your angel, just skip this step. For the loop hanger, I'll make chain um, approximately 30, maybe a little more. I've made the chain 35 this time, and uh, uh, with a slip stitch, I will make a circle. This is the loop hanger. Now I will make chain six. And um, I will make um, a slip stitch in the same chains. This is going to be the beginning of the head. Now I'll make uh, eight single crochet stitches in this uh, little loop. And I am going to include a part of this loop hanger in um, uh, the first four of those single crochet stitches. So I'll make this first single crochet and the second and the two more with the loop hanger. And now without four more. One, two, three, and four. We've made eight single crochet stitches. In the next round, there will be 16, which means we'll be doubling the number of single crochet stitches in each round. And we'll start using this uh, um, end of the thread as our marker to know where we started. So um, this was the first of my eight stitches. And now I'm making two stitches in it. I'll make two in the next one. And we'll continue like this until I uh, reach my marker. We now have 16 uh, stitches. We'll reposition our marker and when you do it, uh, it might be a good idea to leave a little loop at the back. It's easier to remove it. And uh, we'll continue our increases this way this time. In the first stitch, uh, we'll make just one single crochet. In the second one, we'll make two. In the next one, in the following, one, two. And we'll repeat it like this, one, two, and at the end of this round, you'll have 24 single crochet stitches. Now we have 24 uh, single crochet stitches in round, and the next six rounds are going to be the same. Uh, we'll be making 24 stitches round and round, six rounds, like this. I have finished those six rounds and now have nine. Uh, and uh, it's time to start decreasing the number of stitches. We'll make the first single crochet and the next two uh, will work together. Then we'll make another single crochet, the following two together and continue like this one and uh, two together five more times now we have 16 
uh, stitches left and um, it's time to fill the head uh, with something cotton or fiber fill but first we need to pull this loop hanger if you made this loop hanger we need to pull it out mm -hmm. like this it looks good and uh, we'll also need to pull out this and uh, and put it inside the head now we can fill uh, the head I use this uh, straw um, really helpful uh, since the opening is not very big uh, put as much uh, fiber fill inside as you can after the head is filled make a round of eight stitches which means um, uh, we'll be uh, working two stitches together all the time so one, two, continue like this until you have eight stitches left. Now we have eight and make another round of eight just to make the neck a little thinner. So just stitch and stitch eight single crochet stitches. Now we are going to switch from um, uh, single crochet stitches to double crochet and in the next uh, round we'll make 16 double crochet stitches. We'll start with chain 3 as the first double crochet and in the next place we'll make another double crochet stitch. Now in the next one we'll make two. And we'll make two in the following stitch. Continue doubling your stitches until you have 16. At the, the end of the round, make a slip stitch in the third chain that we made at the beginning of this round. Like this. Now, in every other stitch that we made, we are going to make groups of three double crochet stitches separated by chain one. We'll start once again with chain three. And in the same place, we'll make two more double crochets. So we count the first three chains as a double crochet. Three, chain one, We'll skip one stitch and in the next stitch we'll make three double crochet stitches. We'll skip one and once again a group of three. Chain one and continue like this. Uh, five more times. At the end of the round, chain one and a slip stitch in the third chain. Now, in each chain that we made, we are going to be making uh, single crochet stitches with chain five between them. We'll start with chain one as the first single crochet stitch and we'll make chain five. So six all together here. Now here between the groups of uh, three double crochets we'll make a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. A single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, a single crochet and continue like this five more times. This slip stitch at the end goes in this first chain that we made at the beginning. Now, where we made this chain five, uh, we'll be making uh, groups of five double crochets 
uh, and they will be separated by chain three. We'll start with this slip stitch to get um, under this chain and uh, chain three is the first double crochet and now the second the third the fourth and the fifth chain three moving here and uh, here we are making one two three four five double crochet chain three and so on repeat it six more times at uh, the end chain three and the slip stitch in the third chain now once again we'll be making single crochet stitches this time in the middle of this group of five with seven with chain seven between them but we'll also be skipping two groups of these five double crochet stitches on the sides uh, to make arm openings we'll start this time with two slip stitches because we need to get to the middle of this group of five then we'll make uh, chain one as the first single crochet stitch and chain seven six seven now a single crochet goes here in the middle of this group of five chain seven a single crochet in the middle of this group of five so we made uh, two chains of seven now we'll make another one four five six seven and we'll skip this group uh, we'll make a single crochet in the next one this is the first arm chain seven a single crochet chain seven a single crochet chain seven and we'll skip another group and we'll make uh, a slip stitch in this first chain which we counted as a single crochet okay so now we have six chains big chains chains of seven left and arm openings now in each single crochet that we made we'll be making another single crochet then chain one and five double crochet stitches in each of these chains of seven so we'll make chain one as the first single crochet stitch and another chain as a part of the pattern and now we'll make five double crochet stitches here one two three four five chain one a single crochet in the single crochet stitch of the previous round chain one a group of five double crochet stitches two three four five chain one a single crochet and continue like this you need to repeat it four more times at the end of the round chain one 
and a slip stitch in this first chain now we'll be making uh, five double crochet stitches one in each of the five that we have with a chain three between them we'll start uh, with two slip stitches one in this chain and one in the first double crochet now chain three is the first double crochet of this round and uh, four more so now we have three four five chain three five double crochets one in each stitch of the previous round chain three and continue the same way at the, the end chain three and um, a slip stitch in the third chain now instead of five we'll be making just three uh, double crochet stitches then chain one a double crochet chain three a double crochet chain one and uh, uh, three double crochets so we'll make a slip stitch just one chain three the first double crochet and the two more chain one we'll make a double crochet in the middle of these three chains chain three another double crochet in the same spot chain one three double crochets chain one in the middle of this chain two double crochets separated by chain three chain one and so on at the end chain one and the slip stitch in the third chain now in each of these chain three we are going to be making a group of uh, five double crochet uh, stitches basically repeating this uh, round uh, uh, but around uh, uh, this single crochet we'll be making chain two not chain one we'll uh, make a slip stitch uh, the first chain will be uh, the first uh, single crochet and now two more here between two double crochets we'll make five one two three four five chain two a single crochet here in the middle double crochet chain two a um, group of five double crochets chain two a single crochet chain two and repeat it until the end of the round at the end chain two and a slip stitch in this first chain which was our single crochet stitch in the next round we'll make 
uh, double crochet stitches in each of these double crochets like we did here but instead of three we'll make chain of five we'll start with three slip stitches two in these chains and one in uh, the double crochet chain three and uh, four more double crochet stitches chain five five double crochets two more three Four, five, chain five, and so on. At the end, chain five and the slip stitch in the third chain. Now, once again, we'll repeat uh, around uh, this round uh, where we made uh, three. Uh, double crochets instead of five and a group of two double crochets separated by chain three we'll start with one slip stitch chain three a double crochet and another double so we have three all together here chain two not one like we did before chain two a double crochet in the middle of this five chain three another double crochet in the same chain chain two three double crochets one two three chain two a double crochet in the third chain chain three a double crochet in the same chain tight chain two and uh, uh, three uh, double crochets at the end chain two and the slip stitch in the third chain and now once again we'll repeat the round where we were making uh, five double crochets uh, between these two double we'll make a slip stitch chain one is the first single crochet and two more now we'll make five double crochets here two three four five chain two a single crochet chain two five double single crochet chain two and so on a slip stitch at the end after this two chains goes in the first chain and now to the last round in each of the double crochets that we have here we'll make uh, two double crochets and a single crochet in the single crochet of the previous round 
the first single crochet will be chain one and we'll make another chain now in each of these five we'll be making two double crochets two two in the next we have four two in the middle one six eight and the ten now we'll make chain one a single crochet in the single crochet that we have chain one and we'll continue with 10 double crochet stitches at the end chain one and the slip stitch in the first chain done cut off the thread and with a needle weave it uh, through as many stitches as you can and uh, this part of our work is done now we'll start making arms well actually it's kind of one arm we'll be making the arms uh, using seven single crochet stitches working around and around and um, the length of this arm will be uh, five and a half inches we'll start with a magic loop wrap the thread around two fingers crisscross and uh, pull the second thread towards you and make the first stitch you can also make a chain of five uh, it will work also uh, so now we are making seven single uh, crochets the first will be um, a chain one as usual now the second the third and so on five six seven now we can close this loop uh, and uh, we'll make one two okay this is the seventh we'll make a slip stitch now we have seven stitches uh, in each of them we'll be making a single crochet uh, without any changes round and around just make sure you are not making extra stitches because it's going to be quite tight um, it's easy to make a mistake so it might make sense from time to time to stop and count the number of stitches you have at the moment and also after you uh, make the first inch or so uh, put a little um, cotton or fiber fill whatever you are using inside not a lot but just enough for uh, the arms to keep shape I finished the first inch or so now I can put uh, this thread inside this straw really helps and uh, just a little filling probably enough and now I'm going to continue uh, working and pausing from time to time to add a little more filling until the arm reaches five and a half inches when the arm reached the length of um, five uh, and a half inches uh, cut off the thread and with a needle uh, close all the stitches using just the outside part of each stitch like this
and after that just put the needle inside and cut off the remaining thread now we'll make a halo for the halo leave about uh, four inches of thread and um, uh, make chain 24 with a slip stitch make a circle and uh, now in each uh, of these chains we are going to be making uh, single crochet stitches will start with chain one as the first single crochet and now uh, we'll be including this uh, end of the thread in our work and we'll make the first single crochet the second this thread is here is to make this um, uh, halo a little more substantial and we'll continue working like this uh, just make uh, sure you are consistently um, using either one or two of the threads uh, in each um, uh, chain there are three of them so I started with including two in my work and I'll continue this way at the, the end make a slip stitch in this first chain and then cut off and hide the thread and now we'll make the wings we'll start with chain 10 which will um, enclose in a circle we'll make one wing first and then the second I have done the first part a chain of 10 um, enclosed to um, uh, make a ring and now I will be making two groups of five uh, double crochet stitches the first is as usual chain three and now the second the third as you can see I am enclosing this thread in my work so, so that I wouldn't have to worry about it later Uh, chain one and we'll repeat five double crochet stitches three four now in each of these five we'll make five double crochet stitches with chain three between and also we'll make uh, another single crochet stitch on the side with a chain so chain three is this first double crochet and chain one for separation now in these five stitches we are making five uh, double crochets so one two three four and five chain three five double crochets one two three four the fifth one goes in this third chain so five chain one and another double crochet stitch here now uh, instead of five we'll be making three double crochets 
um, and uh, here uh, in the middle we are going to be making a double crochet, chain three, a double crochet, uh, and uh, chain one. Uh, we'll also make two double crochets here on the sides. So chain three, the first double crochet, and chain three to separate it from the next double crochet, which we'll make in the same place here on the side. Now chain one, we'll make three double crochets in the middle of the five. chain one, a double crochet here in the middle of chain three, chain three, another double crochet in the same place, chain one, skip one double crochet, make three in the next three stitches, chain one now we'll be working in uh, the third of these chains we'll make a double crochet chain three and another double crochet i'll use two threads like this now in each chain three that we have just made uh, we are going to make uh, groups of five double crochet stitches chain two a single crochet chain two we'll start with chain three as the first double crochet and we'll make uh, four more one two three chain two uh, a single crochet in the middle of those three double crochets chain two five double crochets chain two a single crochet chain two five double one two three four and make the fifth one in the third chain here like this and the, the last round will be similar to what we uh, did here at the bottom of the skirt in each of the five double crochets we'll be making two and uh, um, uh, we'll make a chain one a single crochet chain one between those groups chain three and uh, another double crochet in the same place and uh, two double crochets in each of the stitches so, so now i have six seven eight nine and ten chain one a single crochet in the single crochet of the previous round chain one and continue like this 
10 double crochets, chain 1, single crochet, chain 1. We'll make the last uh, two double crochets in the third chain. Here, one, and uh, I need another thread. Mm -hmm. Two. And uh, this uh, uh, wing is ready. Uh, the second uh, wing is uh, made exactly the same way. Uh, if needed, uh, just uh, rewind the video or uh, follow the pattern. When everything is ready, uh, you need to find something to shape your angel on. Um, I use a plastic bottle. Uh, it's not necessary to cut off the top of the plastic bottle, but I do and put um, inside uh, a piece of clay wrapped in plastic just to make it a little more uh, roundish. Then you'll need to make a strong starch solution. Uh, mix two tablespoons of cornstarch with a little um, cold water. We add it to a cup of boiling water, stirring all the time, like this, and remove from heat. Then uh, soak uh, everything you made uh, uh, for a few minutes in that starch solution. Uh, well, everything except for the parts that I filled uh, with something, the head and uh, the arms, and uh, put uh, the angel on the prepared shape. Uh, spread the rest and leave everything to dry. And when it's dry, uh, use a needle or a glue gun uh, to uh, put all the parts together. I use this very simple um, and inexpensive glue gun. Uh, it works well. To attach the arm, I put a little glue here through one of the openings and uh, hold it tight, making sure the arms are uh, the same length. Then we'll glue the arms together to hold the flower. And uh, the wings. For a decoration, um, I cut six or seven inch piece of uh, silver ribbon, make a hole in the middle, and insert a little flower there. Uh, I also cut the ribbon into thinner strips and insert it uh, here in the middle and secure uh, the stem of the flower. Uh, the angel is ready. I hope you liked uh, the video and the angel that we made together. Uh, on my channel, uh, there are lots of other videos um, showing how to make uh, various angels. You're welcome to watch any of those. And uh, if you want to be informed of any new developments, uh, please subscribe and push the bell button. Bye for now. See you next time.